What's good, people? Disclaimer right at the start of this here video. The first disclaimer is it's 10 minutes away from midnight. So your boy is kind of tired. Secondly, it has been exactly four days since I had all four of my wisdom teeth extracted. So it hurts to talk. When I say that, I mean, when I put my jaw back in the resting position, you know, after you get done talking, there is a, how can I say this, a stalactite of my gum that is piercing my cheek from the inside. It is not fun at all. So please forgive me if I talk a bit slower than usual. Please forgive me if I, if I talk a bit deeper than usual. That is the reason why. I'm trying to get myself back into recording, you know, piece by piece. But as the saying goes, the show must go on. So welcome back to this here game and welcome to Forest. I'm quite behind on my commentary, so let me catch up in one sentence. There's a guy that spawns right here. And he's nowhere to be found. And I seen him walk this way. So I'm like, damn. Where did he go? Maybe he's behind a rock. Maybe he's in this here tent in front of me. Maybe he's behind the tank in front of me. But then that alarm trap goes off. And it turns out homeboy, if not someone else, is in that barn. So guy ran this way, then ran back, but I never saw him run back. So he, and probably one other person, is over there. Now you see me looking over there, and I'm like, could I, could I go over there and take them both out? I mean, maybe, but all I have is a VSS, and I don't know what they have. They haven't shot at each other yet. I need to know what guns they have. If they have any guns at all. So, uh... I'm gonna leave that alone. Plus, why go up for two guys that are up there when there's an entire lobby near, or not even near, spread out across the map? So, like I said, I'm gonna leave those two guys down there. So, people, I'm gonna take this time out here to say there's going to be a bit of a tear in my upload schedule. You see, at the time of this here recording, I'm going through pain. But if I uploaded this here video at a time and date of what I'm thinking, it should be October 19th at 2 o'clock. Now, there are going to be some videos in the future. When I say future, I mean probably within the next week or two where I tell y'all the date and time, and you're like, huh? Jet, how? I record this game a lot, okay? Now, back to this. You see, Jammer. I'm like, okay, where's Jammer at? Well, maybe the Jammer is in this very obvious red house. So I walk up here, and sure enough, Jammer and Contact Bomb. You hear the sizzling? That's not steak. Damn, I want some steak now. That's not steak. That's a contact bomb. Jammer plus contact bomb equal camper. Camper equates to easy headshot. Where is a camper? Well, I wish I knew. You see, campers are hard to find because they don't make noise. The only thing you might catch them doing is switching weapons, reloading a pistol, or crawling. Crawling on their belly. But none of that's found. And I hear the gunshots in the background, and I do. But I'm really convinced someone's in here. Because why would you go through the hassle of putting down two of these things and not stay in this house? But lo and behold, I can't find anybody. So I'm like, you know what, Jet? Bro, keep going. You're wasting time here. I take one look back at that house to make sure no one is running out that house after I ran out of it. One more, you know, one more double take. Nothing. 
nothing at all. So having missed one entire gunfight, I'm feeling pretty sad right now. Maybe I shouldn't have went after the guy at the tank depot. Maybe I should have ran straight down here and I would have caught the guy who put the contact bomb and jammer in that house. I don't know. But one thing I do know is like I said, I missed a whole gunfight. So who won and where are they going? I don't know. There's a conversation near here. And that sounds like a, a freaking bolt action sniper rifle to my left. AKA, past the bridge. Well, people, I may not have time to respond to every single one of your comments, but I do be reading them. So I'm going to take this time out to say, or not say, but read, one of my comments as I spot an open window right there. Remember that window. It may be important. A viewer by the name of Andy Clark, he shows up in my streams a lot, in, you know, the chat. He commented on one of my videos and he said, I saw you on the Verg Forest near a comm station and didn't shoot at you. Smiling emoji, thumbs up emoji. Okay, when was that comment made? 12 days ago. Well, at the time of this or voice recording, it is September 16th. And I'll check the date this here gameplay was recorded. And it's September 4th. Andy's comment was made 12 days ago. And today is September 16th. September 16th. 12 days ago was September 4th. Andy, was that you just now? Or maybe you were in that house with the window open, which is why I keep looking back. I don't know, but Diverk Forest near a comm station and you didn't shoot at me. 2 plus 2 does equal 4, or in this case, 16 minus 12 does equal 4. Interesting. Very interesting. I want to say this man killed someone that's what I want to say 
I could be wrong, but y'all did hear a shotgun go off after I silently took out the guy from M82. I could be wrong, but the evidence does make sense. Now, let's also not forget. Someone hit the detector, if not a port, something which caused the game to be like, oh, someone tried to find out where you are. Luckily for you, you're in the tower's radius, so nothing happened. Someone else is still here. And oh, would you look at that? Two different airdrops. And then, I'm going to pull up the map one more time in a second here. The detector is down there. Now, I'm no rocket scientist, but if I hit the detector and I see no one is near me, if not no one, is, no one else is on the map, I'm going to run for the airdrop. If not the container, because I see no one else is there. Again, I'm not a rocket scientist. Oh, would you look at that? Yep, I missed it. I missed my window. If I was a bit more quick on my mental gathering of the situation, I might would have caught this man. In hindsight, I should have just dropped a mortar strike in that damn exit. Maybe it would have killed him. But don't worry. I'll make it up to you all very soon. And Andy, if that was you, then it was not in your life to get killed by me in that moment because you know you watch my streams and I'm talking directly to Andy here you know you watch my streams M82 is my comfort weapon and I missed you that many times therefore it just wasn't your time to die people thanks for watching I'm gonna take some medicine and go to bed I'll see you next time peace